two in a row and both in Scandinavia as well. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling to get the victory tonight? Just awesome, you know, it's the crowd in there makes the whole difference. It's it's amazing. And uh, Macy was undefeated. What did you think of her in there? And, and take us through the fight. How, how would you uh, how would you uh, explain? Uh, how would you break it down? Uh, I would say that uh, that it's quite clear that I have the most experience in there. You know, I have like 100 Thai boxing fights before that. So uh, or before starting MMA. So you know, like losing the first round didn't bother me. You know, it's. I'm kind of a slow starter and it feels totally okay, you know, to just feel her out, take it slow to start with and then just bring it on in the in the later rounds. And I just felt stronger, you know, and my ground game and my takedowns was a lot better than hers. What was there that sort of click between the first and second round? Because it was like you came out, it was completely, it was like you'd figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just think that, yeah, as I said, I'm a, I'm a slow starter. I just, you know, take it slow to start with feel her out, then I just know what uh, what she can bring, you know, and then just makes it easier. On the broadcast, there was shown a situation between round and two, round three, uh, in the corner of Macy, uh, that her, uh, her trainer uh, was giving her some motivational help. Uh, what did you have from your trainer for round three? Uh, he said, like, Lena, please, I would like to go and eat buffet, and I don't know. <laughs> no, just, you know, they, they, they know me so well, you know, they uh, they just took it slow. They, they know me, they know that I can bring much more than that. Um, and they, they asked me to work with my head better, uh, as I know I had to do, and also to turn around faster and just keep the pressure. Um, I haven't really thought about it, you know. I, I would like to go somewhere far away. Australia maybe would be nice, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but I need some some vacation first. Känns det som att du är bättre än någonsin? Ja, absolut. Det måste jag säga. Det är verkligen saker som, som klickar. Jag älskar känslan av att saker bara händer utan att jag liksom har någon... Det är ingen fördröjning, det är inte så att jag behöver tänka på vad som ska hända utan saker bara händer och det är en fantastisk känsla. So these two past fights have been very very impressive. It's just you know better and better competition and better better performances. What's changed for you? Because it definitely seems like we see you stronger, happier, just healthier. Uh, I think that that's it. You know, I I am more happy. I travel around more. I go and train with other women, other places. Uh, and everything is just more fun, you know, and my coaches, they really, you know, they take care of me and they take, you know, equal responsibility. Some of them, uh, a little bit more people involved, it's easier for, for everybody and yeah, I, I am more happy, definitely. What's your pick on the main event tonight? Yeah, Jack yeah, Hermansson, uh, he's amazing. Uh, Jack is like, you know, I've known him for, for a while now. We we fought in Cage Warriors together so many years ago. And he was always, you know, so happy. When you when you meet him at first it's quite difficult to understand that he's fighting because he's just so nice and so happy and you like wanna hug him, you know. Uh, and he's a badass, you know, it's so nice to see him fight because it's so much energy and he's he's really something else. He will yeah. definitely win that one. The atmosphere sounded great out there. Did it um, contribute a lot to your performance? Definitely. Uh, it means the world to me. It's like, you know, it's so hard to describe the feeling walking into a crowd like that. You know, it's, I can't compare it to, to anything else. I need to get children or something to, to be able to do that, I guess. Cool. After your last fight, you said that you were interested in a rematch with Afton Lad. Is that still on your mind or do you have somebody else in your sights? She's definitely on my mind. When would you like to get back in there? Obviously you've had, uh, I think, two fights this year. When, when would it make sense for you next? Uh, in the beginning of next year, maybe, something like that. I would like to have, like, four, four, six, eight weeks to relax without being, without being booked for a fight, I think. And how active would you like to be, you know, going into next year? Uh, I, I would like to stay active, definitely, and I'm always training. But mentally, I need to to be just just to chill out, you know. 
otherwise I'm just thinking about the next performance all the time and that can be can be stressful. So ice cream, red wine and family. <laughs> How will you celebrate tonight? My family is here, and as I said, red wine. Akira has promised me some red wine. <laughs> I, <laughs> he want to eat in this buffet. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, I will just, you know, I will relax, you know, hang out with my family and friends, and just enjoy the moment. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.